What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Fusion 360 modeling tutorial for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk about how you can project a sketch onto a face so you can create some more complex type shapes inside of Fusion 360. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So in this video I wanted to talk through how easy it can be to project a 2D path onto a 3D shape inside of Fusion 360. And so what I've got here is I've got a couple different examples. So I've got a half sphere, I've got a cylinder, and then I've got a shape right here. And so what we want to do is we want to take some sort of a shape, so um, a 3D shape, and then we want a 2D path. So in this case, for example, um, I've drawn a fit point spline between these two different edges, and we want to project that onto the 3D face. And then from there, you can use that to either use the extrude tool to remove material or a lot of other different things. Things. So let's start by taking a look at our half sphere. And I can go ahead and turn these other bodies off just so they're not in here distracting us. Um, but what we want to do is I'm going to start, and really what you need in order to do this is you need two things. You need a 3D shape that you're going to project along, and then you need a path that you want to project onto the shape. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start by just creating a flat sketch. So we're just going to create a sketch, we'll put it flat right here and we're just gonna draw a rectangle. So I'm not really super worried about what it's gonna look like right now, it just needs to be something two-dimensional, just like this. And so you can see how what we have here is we have two objects, right? We have our body, and then we have our flat 2D sketch, which is gonna make up our path. And so from there, what we wanna do is we wanna project this shape onto this shape. So basically we're gonna create a path that runs along this where this would intersect with our sphere. So the way that we're gonna do that is we need to create another sketch. So we can't do this inside of our original sketch. Fusion 360 does not support that. I'll show you why in a second. But what we wanna do is we wanna create a new sketch like this, and then it doesn't really matter where we put it. We can put it on the same flat plane that we have our first one for right now. And so what we've done is we've created a new sketch. Well, what we need to do is we need to go up into our create function. And if you go down here, there's an option for project slash include. And so what we wanna do in this situation is we wanna use the project to surface function. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna take our path and it's gonna project it so that it intersects with our surface. So we're gonna click on the button for project to surface. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna pop up this little window right here. And it's gonna ask us for some information. So the first piece of information that's gonna ask us for is the face that we wanna project onto. So that's gonna be this face right here. So now we have that selected. Next, it's gonna ask for our curve. And basically our curve is just our path. So you can see how I can mouse over this and I can select all of these different edges in order to make up my path, just like this. So now we have our curve selected. You can actually turn your body off so you can see this a little bit better. Um, but we have our curve selected, we have our face selected, then it's gonna ask us for our project type. And so if you leave this on closest point, what that's gonna do is that's going to project this out to the closest point of the face. We don't want that in this situation. What we want instead is we want the option for project type to be a long vector. And so when we select our um, project type to be a long vector, what that allows us to do is that's gonna allow us to project this basically in a direction so that it intersects with our object. So in this situation, the vector that we want is going to be this edge right here. So the blue edge. And so you can see how as soon as I did that, this took this and this projected this upward so that it intersects with my sphere. So what it's doing is it's taking this path, it's projecting it along this line until it intersects with my sphere. Then we're gonna click on OK. And so you can see how now, if we turn our body back on, what that's done is that's actually created a path or a sketch in here um, that we could then use. So for example, let's say, let's go ahead and let's add another sketch really quick. We could use this path in order to extrude like a recess into this object or other things like that. So if I click on finish sketch, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create another sketch right here along this plane and I'm just going to draw a little rectangle. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle right here, like this. We're gonna click on Finish Sketch. So we have a little rectangle here. Well now, we could use the uh, we could use the sweep function in order to extrude this along this path. So for example, this could be our profile, and then now we can select this path. 
And you can see how when we select this path, we can now use this in order to remove material along our shape. And because this path follows this shape, you'll get a nice uniform result, just like this. And so we talked a little bit before, um, and I just want to show you real quick um, the reason this doesn't work within this sketch. So you remember this is our original shape. If we right click on it and we edit our sketch, and if we tried to do a project to surface inside of our original sketch, like this, so we'll select our face and then our curves, what it's going to do is it's going to give you an error message. And I think this is where a lot of people get hung up. Um, it says it doesn't support projecting sketch geometry into the same sketch, meaning you can't be in the same sketch as your path in order for this to work. You have to be in a new sketch. And so now we can go ahead and we can do the same thing with our next object where we've got a cylinder like this and then we just want to create a new sketch and we can go ahead and put it on this flat plane right here. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. And then we can go to create, project and include and project to surface. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to select our face. We're going to select our curves. And then we're going to select our vector, which is going to be the blue axis. So you can see how what that's doing is that's actually projecting this up and down. So it's not just projecting it up. It's also projecting it down which is why you're getting two intersections in this situation. And then we can click on OK. Well, now we have a path that follows along this object in two directions, so up and down. And then we could do the same thing with a shape like this one with whatever path we want. So we could just create a new sketch over here. And we could make this as complex as we want to, but let's say we had a fit point spline that we just wanted to follow this. And obviously there's a way to do this more uniformly, but just for the sake of this example, we'll do something kind of complex that isn't really uniform. But we'll just take this whole thing, we'll close it in and we'll finish our sketch. And then we do the same thing. We'd create a new sketch right here. We do a project slash include project to surface and select this face, this curve, then our blue vector, just like this. And we'll click on OK. Well, now what we have is we have a path that follows along this shape. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought was this helpful to you. Do you have any questions about this method? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.